Tuesday video. Tuesday video means parts, and I uh, have quite a bit here. So let me show you what I picked up. So you can see I have uh, pretty much the general maintenance stuff. We got some new oil, transmission fluid. Um, I got the Lucas I'm going to be putting in there. This is great, great stuff uh, for cleaning the carburetor. When I actually pull it apart, I'm going to soak everything in there to get uh, everything clean and uh, ready to put back together. And then um, over here is the actual kit. I got this off of eBay. I had some trouble finding a kit for this carb because it's a factory replacement holly. Like it's literally a spread bore aftermarket holly carburetor that's a factory replacement for the Quadrajet. So I was looking around, I couldn't really find a uh, rebuild kit for a reasonable price. All the ones from Holly were like a hundred bucks or more. I found this off of eBay, I think it was like 40 bucks and it does fit my uh, carb. I have the 4175, so we're gonna be tackling this because it is leaking some gas. Who knows what else might be wrong with it, so I figured why not. Um, when to get this thing running right, we might as well rebuild that. And lastly, I have a uh, torque on mount because the one that's in there is pretty shot. Um, I looked under there, you'll see that in the next video in the series. But I looked under the car, and um, it's all there. It's not really broken, but inside right there where the uh, torque arm slides through, it's kind of worn out and loose. And uh, whenever you put this thing into gear or you really get on it from a dig, you feel just the whole rear end kind of floating around and the torque arm moving. So I'm definitely going to be tackling that in an upcoming video. But for right now, um, I have to actually go and change the oil on the Tahoe. That thing just rolled over like 200 to 14,000 miles. So it's uh, just over 3,000 miles I've been driving it. Got to say, it's been pretty much trouble free. Um, I change my even though I put full synthetic, I always change my oil around like 3,000 miles. The Camaro sometimes I even do it around two. Um, I'd rather be safe than sorry when it comes to that stuff, especially with the Camaro. Um, but it is time to change it in the Tahoe, so I have some mobile one we're going to be throwing in for the uh, Trans Am. I just got regular um, GTX high mileage. Getting ready to shoot the next video. As for this fender, um, some of you guys mentioned I could probably just pop it out. You can see it's pretty shot I mean it's rotted out I'm not gonna even bother trying to fix it I think I'm gonna try to uh, find a blue one most likely I'm probably not going to be able to so I think I'm just gonna get one um, from a junkyard any kind of used uh, Trans Am fender and then just get the spray cans and just spray it to match I mean obviously the car needs paint but I think it'd be cool just to scuff it up you know spray it with the blue give it a little rattle can clear coat at least it'll kind of match the car um, and not just stand out like having a big red fender but let's do a little cold start right now before I get to changing that oil. You can see the interior is in shambles because uh, I'm trying to figure out why the gauges don't work. That will be in the next video in the series. Starts right up when it's cold though. I didn't like the look of that uh, chrome aftermarket. It was all rusted and gross. I had to reuse the, uh, the lid nut though. It runs good though. I mean, I really haven't been seeing any oil smoke or anything. That's all just like water vapor. I don't know if you can hear, but there's a little bit of a tick coming from this side. Um, I think it's an exhaust leak because this thing still has the original manifolds on it. When I do the valve cover gaskets, I'm just going to check all the valves and redo the lash just for the hell of it. There's quite a bit of oil leaking from somewhere under here. I haven't really noticed it leaving a mark when I park. You can see it's pretty wet. I have to see. Um, I popped the cover off here 
and inside the torque converter and everything was dry so I don't think it's the rear main I mean I was planning on doing the oil pan gasket but I mean if this is gonna keep uh, getting worse and leaking more oil and I gotta pull the pan and at least change the gasket I might as well throw a timing chain in it it's going for the skid plate damn it's gonna be a mess if it hits that Soak it up. All right, good enough. Wind's starting to take it. Oh, this is always interesting. I need a longer funnel. Come on. Yes. Oh. That's that that's just great. Our Tuesday video is exciting. Ugh. Friday's video. You see, I still didn't change that uh, tire sensor. It's actually uh, the front right sensor I gotta change. I checked them all out, they all read except for the passenger front. And the washer fluid uh, tank is still leaking. It's coming from the pump, I have those I have to throw in. We'll probably do that on a Tuesday. But right now I'm at 214, 043. I bought it with like 210,988 or something like that. So just over 3,000 miles. Looks good to me, just under that top dot. <laughs> all right, so the Tahoe's all good to go. I'm actually gonna be going on the weekend um, to pick up some seats for this thing. So that's gonna be in an upcoming video later on. Um, this Friday, you're not gonna be getting a Trans Am video. It's gonna be a Tahoe video just because uh, I'm actually filming the shakedown of this now, like checking everything that I'm gonna need. And then I gotta wait for parts to come in and um, decide what I'm gonna film next. I was originally planning on doing the T-tops first, but they really haven't been leaking too bad. I mean, there was snow on the car and it was melting and I haven't really seen anything coming in. So uh, not only that, the weather just sucks. I mean, it's like cold and I, I gotta use like weather stripping glue. I'd rather do it when it's like a little warmer out and um, I'll pull the tops off. We'll replace the uh, crossbar up there and get them all sealed up. So that's gonna be in an upcoming video. Not right away, but believe me, we will get around to it. I know a lot of you guys are itching to see how to do that. But um, the next video that's going to be coming out is going to be the whole shakedown of this thing, uh, changing the oil, possibly the transmission fluid, um, and just checking the whole car out and seeing exactly what we're going to have to order. And then once I get this thing um, up and running and relatively safe to drive, we are going to take it to the track and see what it does the way it sits right now. And then from there, we'll start doing stuff to it. Uh, we'll do the headers. Uh, you know, maybe the intake, stuff like that, to get rid of the uh, the belt for the smog pump because that is not doing anything under the car. The uh, It's not even connected to the cat. It's just literally dead weight, and it's, it's the pump's being ran for absolutely no reason. Friday coming up, we're going to have the radio replacement on the Tahoe, and then um, sometime next week, if I get the parts in next Friday, there'll be a Trans Am video. If not, um, there's another Tahoe video because I did get the uh, transmission cooler installed before I went to go pick this up. So I might put that up while I'm kind of gathering everything and deciding the order um, on what I'm going to release uh, video-wise with this car. For anybody who doesn't know, I do have merch available. I have uh, LSX Mad hoodies. 
um, a few different designs. If you want to go check them out, link is going to be up on the screen. I hope you guys are enjoying these Tuesday videos. Uh, editing one of these, it literally takes me 20 minutes to edit it and upload it. Um, all the Trans Am stuff with the voiceover and the music, that takes about eight hours. So um, I really like doing these Tuesday videos where I can just kind of throw stuff together, give you guys an update so I don't have to be as specific with some of the stuff that I'm doing in the Trans Am videos. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on Friday.